body count does matter. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't matter to everybody, but those who it does matter to, why are they being told it doesn't matter? It's nobody else's business. Before I get into it, I'm going to point out that your preferences are absolutely valid as long as you're not an a-hole about it. But at the same time, people need to stop being an a-hole about other people's preferences. I'm just so conflicted about this whole thing about how body count doesn't matter. Could you please explain that to me? Now, I'm going to put myself in the shoes of the guy asking this question, because to me, body count does matter. I'm not going to explain why I'm going to allow other people to judge me, because it's none of their business. But if I did explain why body count matters to me, you would understand it's a completely perfectly valid reason. This lady says body count doesn't matter, he's asked why, and this was her response. You are conflicted with the notion that a woman is an autonomous being with her own mind? Absolutely nothing to do with the question he's asked. But she's tried to guilt him. Now here's the thing. Women, you can do what you want. You can have as many partners as you want. But you can't expect a man to just be okay with it if they don't want to be. But I'll point this out at the end of this video. But that's not what I said about body count. Okay. Why does it not matter? Well, a, a woman who is her own being with her own mind is having experiences and enjoying that. Why are you conflicted about that? Hmm, he doesn't seem very conflicted. He's just asking the question, why does body count matter? And she's basically said that women should be able to do what they want and you should accept it. Women can do whatever they want, as can men. But if any man or woman says, you've slept with too many in the past, I don't like it, then that's perfectly valid. You don't get to tell them otherwise. Now let me get to the point that I want to get to. There's a lot of women on social media that I don't know, feel that they can police men's preferences and their standards. No. Like I said, if people are not being a dick about it, then you have absolutely no say in it. If you tell a man that you've slept with 50 people and he finds that icky, shut up. You can't say anything about it. It's not up to you. But I'm seeing this more and more. Men, body count doesn't matter, and if it matters to you, then you're a problem. <laughs> what? Men, if you don't want to date a larger lady, then you're fatphobic. Men, if you don't want to date a trans woman, then you're transphobic. No, people can just put their private parts wherever they want to put their private parts. It's none of your business. Just imagine for a moment if I come onto social media and I started policing women's preferences. I would be castrated. Ladies, you don't want to date a short man? Then you're shortphobic. You don't want to date a guy with a small wiener? Then you're... Something or other. But you're the problem, either way. You don't want to date a broke guy, that means you're a money grabber. I know I've got several SDIs, but you shouldn't judge me for it. Stop guilting people out of their preferences. There's billions of people on this planet. Why are you getting an issue with people that won't date you because of you don't suit their preferences? It's really weird. It's really weird. And it's just like... It's so against men. Men, you should be having these standards because I'm a woman and I tell you to. It's just daft.